Well, Martin, you must be uh, bitterly disappointed with the result and the performance. Yeah, and all of it, very upset, uh, very disappointed. Um, yeah, very upset. It's a total um, letdown for all our supporters. And I, I feel let down. Um, it was... Uh, I've said so far this season, I think we've played well. I think at times we've been unlucky. I think uh, there's times where we haven't got what we've deserved. And uh, today I thought was the complete opposite of that. That was probably as bad as I've seen a team of mine play. We lacked energy, we lacked enthusiasm, we lacked pace, power, energy, quality on the ball, tenacity off the ball. Um, I made two substitutions at half-time. I could have probably made seven. Um, I had a 20-year-old kid play. He was only trained for three days and he was our best player. So it's very upsetting, very, very disappointing and uh, hurt, really. I, I know if you could put your finger on it, you'd do something about it, but, but what is it that's caused that, uh, that, that, that drop down in performance level? I wish I knew. Um, last week at Dagenham, we, uh, we, were, we played ugly. We were difficult to beat. We were difficult to break down. Um, didn't play over well. And one error cost us badly. Today it wasn't like that. Today we were outrun, outfought, outpaced, outplayed. Um, they were a far better team than us. And uh, very, 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 very disappointed. You said after Smith and Coyote had come in you were satisfied with your squad. Do you stand by that? Well, probably a little bit early to ask me that question right now. But um, of course that, that performance was... Um, you know, that's nowhere near good enough for this club. How did you see the, uh, the, the hind red card incident? Yeah, it's a straight red. He's uh, straight legged him, straight in the belly. It's a diabolical tackle. You say about young Coyote coming on and looking, uh, looking promising. Is he the only uh, bright uh, spark from the day today? No, I wasn't referring to him. I was referring to Charlie Carter. Mm -hmm. Charlie Carter played for 10 minutes on Tuesday in a reserve game. And then he uh, trained for, with the first team on Thursday, and he looked good. And then uh, he's played out there with passion, with pace, he's run around. You know, in an ideal world, he was only going to play for 60 minutes. Mm. So for the last half an hour, you could see how tired he was. Um, but I planned only to play him for 60 minutes, but I had to keep him on. Um, because um, you know, I thought he might create a goal. But um, let's, let's be perfectly honest with you. We wouldn't have scored out there if we'd have carried on playing till uh, till tomorrow night. Uh, there's only a few days again before the next match on 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 Tuesday. How are you going to try and address that uh, uh, that need to up the game in such a short space of time? Well, we'll be in tomorrow morning at half past nine. Um, I need to get home and uh, watch the video. Um, not sure I do need to watch the video actually. You know, because you can't knock attitude, can you? You know, attitude, fighting spirit, and uh, desire. Um, you know, you can't legislate for not having those things in your game. And um, as I say, I've been I've been doing this now for over over 500 games, and um, I think that today was probably going to rank up there as the worst I've seen. I mean, I, I was it was embarrassing. Where do you go from here then? Is it a case of, like say, putting your arm around some players or, or are you going to have to you know, play, the, play hardball with them now? I've played hardball. I've played hardball with this squad. Most of the lads that were here last year um, that weren't in the team last year have sort of been moved out on loan and been moved on in the summer. Um, I don't think we look fit enough. I don't think we look strong enough. I don't think we have enough pace. And I don't think we, um, I don't think we're, um, we're well short. You apologise to the fans there at the start of the interview. What can you say to convince them to, to keep paying the money really to come down on Tuesday? I can't say anything. I can't say any more. 
I can't say no more. The players can. You know, I think I've said from day one, it's um, it's the players' responsibility to get that put that performance on for the supporters and for the supporters to sing like they did at the start of the season and that fantastic atmosphere we had here. And I was so excited coming into this game today. I've been so looking forward to coming here to play with new, you know, a couple of new players, own debuts, uh, players added. I've been so excited about today. What a disappointment that was. What a complete and utter disappointment. And I always take the blame. I always say, if, if we don't win, it's my fault. We didn't do this. I should have done that. Could have done this. Could have done that. But I don't go over that white line. And there's sometimes some of them players have got to look at yourself and say, I think you should say, that's not good enough. It's nowhere near good enough. There's enough managers been on this um, on this roundabout at this football club. It's enough managers. So, um, you know, we'll have to, all, have to all ask the question. Do you want another manager and make it the fourth one in one calendar year? Is that great? Well, that ain't right, is it? That ain't going to work. And I just have to walk away from here sometimes and I have to bang my head and just remind myself that uh, it was only a couple of years ago I won this league and I put together a team that won this league and it was only a few years before that that I put together a team that won Division 2 and both divisions I won comfortably as a champion. So can you imagine how painful it is for me to watch this? Do you expect to continue to get back in? Or... Get back in the top bit? No, get back in from... About you. Oh, there's got to be questions asked. I'd be asking questions. You've got to be asking questions. But there's probably be the same questions they asked the last manager and the last manager and the last manager. So you're going to keep adding them, adding them. But uh, a lot of these players now that are here are my players, the the players that I've brought in, and um, not all of them. But uh, there's certainly um, massive need for improvement. Massive. And yeah, I fully do expect it. Um, I will get it right because I always do. But uh, certainly for now, it is an headache. There's no doubt about that. It's, it's a definite headache. Have the players offered any uh, opinions, apologies today after the game? Well, I suppose there's uh, there's that temptation to uh, you know go in there and and throw cups of tea, um, rant and shout and scream and blame and hammer everybody verbally but um, I have to find out why we look physically in second or third gear and plodded through that game why when we trained short on a Thursday, we worked hard on Tuesday, we were right on it on Tuesday, right on it on Thursday, quiet Friday, full on Saturday. Is there fear playing in front of four, just over 4,000 people that are die hard supporters? Even today, they hardly had a go. Is there fear about playing in front of them people? Those people are their biggest backers you could ever get. They are like bankers of supporters. They're like your bankers. They're here every week. They don't even have a go at the players. Don't even have a go at me. If I'd have paid my money, mate, I'd have been throwing my bothrel straight at the manager and straight at the players. Because that ain't good enough to watch, to pay for. Who would want to come and watch that? I will speak to individuals. I'll speak to collectively in little groups. But we have seen some great times already this season with that performance uh, and the wins at the beginning of the season. The Aldershot game, we played well. Second half against Braintree, we played really well. We've been unlucky in a few of the other games where we've hit the post, the crossbar, had some good shots cleared off the line. So at times we have been unlucky. Unlucky, well played, the blood's done OK. I'm always the first to back them. Today, I can't have any defence for that. You did mention, Marty, you would all cross the white line. The cliche players need to stand up and be counted now, Tuesday night. Give the fans something to get behind them. Is that a fair comment? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's fair comment. We can do our work on the training pitch, but um, I've always said it's the, it's the players that deserve the credit because that you can you know you can lead the horse to the water, you can lead the horse right up to the water, but if the horse don't drink it, ain't ain't don't worth ain't worth nothing. And my training, my work I've done on the training pitches, is very similar to what I've done in over the years. So uh, it's always made difficult to beat teams. They're similar sessions to what I did at Barnet at the end of last year, when what did we win? We win seven out of nine from nowhere. So is it Martin gone mad? Is it Martin doing something different? Of course it's not. I, I'm not far away from what I was doing, which has been successful with that group of players. So do I have to go to a coaching manual and start finding new things to do? I don't think so. I have got a couple of injuries. Will Evans is out injured. Curtis Weston's got a bit of a knee. Charlie Carter's not 100% right. I could go on and on and tell you about three or four others. But I ain't having nothing to do with any excuses. It was a shocking, disappointing, hurtful performance. Come Tuesday night, what are we going to do between now and then? We'll probably have a sleepless night. Probably find out ways of walking and finding out how I'm going to get my head around it, how I can get that group of players to put on a performance that's going to do our club proud and bounce back with energy, enthusiasm and desire.